Southern California and I'm just hot. It's hot. Ooh, I was not built for this. You were not built for this. Girl, I get it now. I get it. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Camille. This is Phoenix. Griffin is somewhere else and you're watching Mueller Husky. If you're new to this channel and you want to find out more about Siberian Huskies, make sure you subscribe and tap that little notification bell so you never have to miss a new video. We're gonna do a little something different today. Something that I have been dying to do forever and I didn't know if it was gonna work on this channel or not, but we're doing it and I don't care. This is the content. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this look that I'm doing right now, I'm wearing right now. It is a makeup look that is inspired by this good girl right here. Yes, that's you. I'm also wearing a furry shirt so that I can match her and uh, yeah. That's basically it. If you just tuned in and you're confused on how you got here, this is a dog channel. It's not a makeup channel. But you know what? I like makeup. I like dogs. Let's merge them all together and make some art. You can hear that I've kind of lost my voice a little bit because last week was Vid Summit and I went to Disneyland with my creator friends and it was so bomb. We closed out Disneyland and I fully lost my voice. I'm starting to get it back now, but it still sounds a little bit raspy, but we're gonna do the best with what we've got. In the spirit of Halloween, why not look like one of my dogs? So I've got, I've got the Phoenix outfit on. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in a little bit, but first I'm gonna take you all through my non-makeup tutorial channel, makeup tutorial. So if you look at her, she, she's a red and white husky. I kinda wanted to go with more orangey slash reddy tones. And Phoenix is very, she's very much the queen. That is her personality. So hopefully how I dress today and what I look like is going to embody that sort of thing for her. I'm not trying to look like a dog. I'm trying to do a look that is inspired by my dog. So don't get confused guys if I'm not looking like a dog. So first I started off already by moisturizing my face. Phoenix is the saltiest bee that I know, so of course she has to moisturize her face and put a little primer on it to kind of liven it up a bit. I also put on eyeshadow primer because I feel like Phoenix is a girl who would not skip this step. Me, Camille, I normally skip this step because I am lazy, but Phoenix definitely wants her eyeshadow to pop, so that's what we did there. I followed it up with some BB cream. Also, for you guys to know, I never wear foundation or anything really on my face. I just find it really heavy and I like to like run upstairs and stuff, so I, I don't really like sweating and like feeling like my face feels heavy, but BB cream is kind of like a nice in-between sort of thing where it's not so cakey on your face. You still get some sort of coverage. I put on some concealer, set it with my setting powder because that's also a step that Phoenix wouldn't miss and she definitely would have a pink poofy brush. And I started a bit of a contour. Phoenix is a diva queen, so for sure she would not forget to contour. I didn't overdo it a bit because she knows her limits, but that is definitely a key step in the Phoenix makeup tutorial. I also put on a little blush just to give my face some depth to start with uh, before I put on my eye makeup. Since Phoenix is a red and white husky, she comes out very orange in, um, in her pictures. I use the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I really like this palette. Um, not only does it have some pretty sweet pictures of like travel and like it reminds me of just like adventure on the front of it But it also has some pretty sweet colors that look really good on my skin tone So I went with all of the orangey colors. I started with Baja, followed it up with Accelerate um, And put some darker colors on the crease so like punk um, and then I put Ignite on the inner corners of my eye. I started to feel like there was a little bit of depth missing, so I put a little bit more of the Ignite color uh, by my brow bone, and then just tried to like blend it all in together for a nice orangey, red and white husky look. <laughs> At this point, I realized that I had not touched my eyebrows, even though that usually should be like step four or whatever. <laughs> I was like, let's go back to that step. I used the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I wanted Phoenix's brows to kind of be a little bit wild and fluffy. I then filled in some of the spots that were a little bit more sparse with NYX Professional Makeup Fill and Fluff Brow in Espresso, just so it didn't look like too weird, um, but I definitely tried to keep it soft and bushy, just like Phoenix. Phoenix has brown eyes just like me, so I didn't really have to do anything to my eyes to kind of 
do that. But the thing about her is that the skin around her eyelids, it looks like she's wearing brown eyeliner. So I never, never, never wear brown eyeliner. I always wear black eyeliner. But today, I went ahead and used my brown. And it's a little bit of a more reddish color. I think that worked out pretty well. and made kind of the line around my eyes a little bit softer than I normally would. And I didn't wing it out, which is something I always do because Phoenix doesn't exactly have like, she's got more almondy eyes. She doesn't really have the wing, kind of like Griffin does. I left it a little smudgy and a little smokier because Phoenix definitely has that smoldering, judgy look. After that, I, I made a conscious decision to line my waterline with a white eyeliner because Phoenix does have some white eyelashes. Her face is red and white, so I wanted to get some white on there without having to make my eyelashes white. So that was kind of like the way I got around it and it makes your eyes like a little bit more open. Then I curl my lashes and put on my black mascara. I wanted this to be a wearable look, so I wasn't going to make my mascara white. For her lip color, Phoenix is a very like pinky, sort of like brownish color. Like you can see it in her nose, especially when she has a snow nose, it's like super pink in the middle and it's very cute. So I used the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Petal Potion, but I tried to match the orange a little bit from the eyes, so I mixed in some NYX Professional Makeup Soft Matte Lip Cream in this super orangey color, and now I've got a nice pinky orange matte lipstick. I just hit myself up with highlight and contour again. Um, because I feel like Phoenix is the kind of girl who does not leave those details out. And that is the look. So I have two options for ears. I <laughs> got these at Target, but they had a unicorn horn in them. They, they didn't have red and white wolf ears, of course. And they had a unicorn horn in them and I just colored them in <laughs> to Phoenix's color. But I also got this and you guys let me know what you like better. Oh, <laughs> yes. This is, I think, I think this is it, people. I think this is it. So I also picked out this outfit because I thought it's something that Phoenix would wear. Obviously, the top is a, just like a giant furry sweatshirt. I thought she'd be like a skinny black jeans kind of girl. So she's wearing skinny black jeans and thigh high boots because Phoenix commits to these sorts of things. Phoenix is the kind of girl that would always have some sort of latte in her hand or some big ol' oversized sunglasses. And she'd say stuff like, is this latte gluten free? How long do we have to wait in this line? I can't wait till we can go down the shore again. That's the thing, Phoenix is a Jersey girl, so she definitely knows how to do fall, but she also knows how to do summer and she calls it the shore. Obviously, she's from New Jersey. All right, guys, that was a look. I'm officially sweating. I'm wearing this furry, furry shirt and this hat thingy, and it's Southern California, and I'm just hot. It's hot. Whew, I was not built for this. You were not built for this. Girl, I get it now. I get it. Let me know in the comment section below if you liked this video. I don't know. I hope some of you guys like this video. Like, this is me. And I will be doing a separate one for a look that is inspired by Griffin. I know the two of them look very different. If you guys like this, you know, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a look that is inspired by your dog. Yeah. You just like being the queen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's me pretending to be you. Is this weird? You don't think it's weird at all because you're like, lady, you're weird. You've been weird forever. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to check out our vlog channel, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye. Oh my God.